My name is Matt Newman and I'm the owner of We Ride and I wanted to do a quick video just to show you how easy our bike seat fits all the bikes in the marketplace. Okay, we've picked four bikes that we most commonly get asked whether our We Ride will fit to. So the first bike, as you can see, is a traditional lady step through bike where we will fit to the headset in the normal way with our bracket. The second bike is a mountain bike, but it also has a narrow top tube under 45 mils, and we will fit into that little space on the headset again. Then we come to the third bike, where the top tube has been oversized. It's over 45 millimeters wide, so our bar won't fit over, and we'll need to add our stem adapter. And finally, we've got a top tube that's over 60 mils wide, and there is no space under the headset. On this version, we can either fit a stem adapter or if we can't get a stem adapter on we can fit a top tube adapter. So the first thing to do is the simple job of adding the rear bracket to either your seat post or your seat tube. This is rarely an issue. The first thing you need to do is split your bar into two parts by removing the bar lengthening bracket. This is quite an easy job with the tools that come in the seat. Now your bar is in two. What you have to do is you loosen the bolts on the back of this bracket to make it wide enough to drop the seat post in. So now all you do is remove your seat from the seat tube. You put it into the rear bracket you tighten up these bolts so it's secure. You add the seat back to your bike. You tighten them at the desired height and then you're good to go. If you've got a dropper seat post, you can either attach to the seat tube or you can just lock your post out so it doesn't go up and down. And this is the same with all four bikes we've got. You just drop the seat tube into the loosened off rear bracket. As you can see, we've attached the rear part of the bar to three of the bikes using the seat post with our rear bracket and tighten the bracket up. On the fourth bike, with the dropper seat post, we've added to the seat tube using two extended bolts that come with the box. So now we need to show you how you attach the front part of the bracket, and this is where some confusion lies. The outside part of the bracket is very thick. The inside part is very thin, it's under five millimeters, and this is what attaches to under the headset of the bike, where the very small space is, and that is where we fit. So the first thing you do is you undo the bolt, completely on one side. And this is easy to do, because the nut is locked in place, so you don't need a wrench. Once you've undone that bolt fully, you then loosen off the other side. As you can see, we've removed the bolt from one side of the bar and loosened the other side, and now we attach to the headset. So on the ladies' step-through bike, it's very simple, and then we tighten the bolts up and join the bar together. On the bike, with the top tube over 45 millimeters, our bar can't get over it, so it cannot access that space, and we need to use a stem adapter. On the mountain bike, with a top tube under 45 millimeters. As with the ladies step through, we can fit into that gap, do the bolts up and join the bar. And on the final bike, the top tube's way too wide for our bar to get over and there's no space under the headset anyway. So all we've done now is attached the bolt to the other side of the bracket and made sure it's fully tightened. Then all we need to do is attach the two parts to the bar together with the bar lengthening bracket and bolt. These simply bolt in and tighten, make sure they're tight. And now your bar is secure. The unique part and the patented part about our bar is that we put the weight central on the bike. Other bike seats attach to the front which causes a problem because it affects your steering, it affects your braking, and affects the ride for the child because they're getting moved around. And that's also why the weight limits are set so low at only 15 kilos. Our seat puts the weight central, 
So we have no problem with kids over 20 kilos fitting on our seat and they stop using the seat more around age four and that's because their leg length gets too much to fit under the handlebars. So, as we said before, if the top tube is too wide for your bar to fit over or there is no space under the headset, as you can see on this bike, we need to use our stem adapter. So what you do is you loosen this top cup and then loosen the bolts on the side and then you remove your handlebars. Then what you do is you leave one spacer on there or add a spacer if you've got one, you add your stem adapter and then you reattach the handlebars. Add in your top bolt. And then making sure your handlebars are straight. Like that. And then tightening the side bolts. Now you have your spacer and your stem adapter in place. What you do is you remove your thin front spacer bar from the bar as you don't need that. And then you can reattach the bar as you would do. So you put the thin part of the bar in the channel of the stem adapter and then you tighten the bolts up. So now we've tightened the bolts up, just tight enough to sit in the channel as you can see the bar's secure, but it doesn't affect your steering. Very important not to over tighten those bolts or it will affect your steering. And then all you do is you attach the bar lengthening bracket back to the bar. You tighten it up and then that bar is secure, ready to go, not affecting the steering. And that will work on pretty much any bike. The only bike it won't work on is if you cannot raise your stem 20 millimeters. It will work on any other bike by adding the stem adapter. So we've shown you how our seat will fit normally to most of the bikes out there. If there's an oversized top tube or there's no space under the stem at all on the headset, we then use our stem adapter, as we've shown you. But you need to have 20 millimeters, a spacer, and then our stem adapter on top of it for that to work. On some bikes, they cut the stem off and you can't even raise the bars at all. On this occasion, we have what's called a top tube adapter. The first thing you do is remove the front bracket and add our paint protector. You then take the front bracket and move it to underneath the bar to change the attachment. You then add the bolts and the top bracket and then you simply tighten that up and that is how the top tube adapter works. So now all we have to do is attach the seat. The one thing to check is that the buckle is secure under the seat in its housing, otherwise this forms a gap with the bar. So you put your seat onto the bike, you locate the hole for the thumb screw, you push the thumb screw in. This EU version has a safety cap on it, it's like a drug bottle. So it's okay when you're screwing it in loosely, but when you get to make it tighter, you can hear it clicks unless you lock the teeth in to make it completely secure. If you just turn it normally, it's like a drug bottle, it won't work. You have to lock it in and that gets it tight. 
The thread is set at 25 millimeters, which is all set by safety standard, like everything on the bike seat, and then you're good to go. So I hope we've shown you through the four examples we've given you today why we believe at WeRide that we fit 99% of bikes out there, which is more than any other bike seat. So now you've fitted your seat, you can remove it in a matter of seconds for solo riding. Plus, if you want your partner to be able to enjoy the seat as well, you can just buy them an additional bar and then they can enjoy all the benefits of a wee ride seat, of the child sitting in front of you, enjoying what you see and being able to communicate with them instead of sitting at the back of a, a rider and just staring at your back. The most important thing when buying a bike seat is whether it meets the safety standards. The wee ride seats meet the safety standards worldwide. We have a five point safety strap, we have an enclosed foot cup with buckles, we have the podium headrest. Everything we do, all the measurements, meets the safety standards around the world, including the very, very strict EN 14344 in Europe. Before you bike, buy a bike seat, ask, does this seat meet the safety standards? And if they say they don't know, or it doesn't need to, there's your alarm bell, and it's time to walk away. We think that we have the most fun and the safest seat on the market. And we would do because 18 years ago, I was actually a customer of We Ride. I bought a seat for my child who's now 20. And now, 18 years later, I own the company. And we're a small family company. So when we see there's a change that needs to be made to the seat or a customer recommends a change, we can make it. We hope we've answered all your questions today on fitting and why you should buy a We Ride seat. But if not, please have a look at our box in a retail store. We have QR codes that link through to the videos we've produced to give you as much information as possible about the important decision about buying a bike seat for your little one. And if there are any other questions you have, please email us at customerservice at weride.com and we will come straight back to you. Thank you and enjoy your wee ride.